The freshwater habitats of the West Country need our help. Whether it's due to climate change, sewage pollution, soil runoff and many other challenges, we must stand up for the health of our rivers. And connecting in our communities is one way that we can do this. So I'm here to meet the West Country Rivers Trust Citizen Science and Volunteer Coordinator, Jack Middleton, to hear more about their volunteer project, the West Country Citizen Science Investigations. Can you tell me a little bit more about what the West Country Rivers Trust Citizen Science Investigation involves? CSI or Citizen Science Investigations is one of our volunteer-led programmes at West Country Rivers Trust um, and at the moment we've got just over 370 active volunteers out across the West Country who go out once a month to measure four or five parameters in their local river or stream to give us this incredible data set that will overall tell us the health of rivers, uh, alert us to when something goes wrong but also build this community of educated and trained and engaged citizen scientists that we can call on when, well, when we need them. And do people have to have a scientific background to get involved? Absolutely not. So one of the biggest benefits of citizen science is the fact that we train and we give that equipment. All we need is engaged volunteers. We want this programme to be as accessible and inclusive as possible. The equipment is relatively easy to use. We just need as many people as possible to join us. It seems like a really wonderful way for people to feel empowered to do their part, to be able to do something to protect their local river environment. So how many volunteers do you have so far? So at the moment we have 850 people signed up to the programme. We've got big plans for this, you know, ideally we'd have someone on every important stretch of every water body in the West Country and our kind of target figure for that over the next few years is 4,000. But really, this is a programme that has no limit. The more people we have, the, the more data we're collecting, the more we know about our rivers and our overall river health, the better it will be for everyone. So what happens after people have collected this information? Where does the data go? So at the moment, all the data we collect is coming back to West Country Rivers Trust and then we're working on sort of analysing it and turning it from that raw data into information. One of the main ways we do this is by creating scorecards. So a scorecard is kind of the first thing that our volunteers get for all of their hard work. The scorecard is one of the main pieces of information we use to communicate the raw data to the public. But we are also working with organisations like the Environment Agency for greater use of that data, you know, so to use the data coming in to influence where monitoring officers go. It is citizen science data, but it really can direct the more scientific methods to, to find when things go wrong. So why did you want to get involved with the West Country Citizen Science Investigations? Well, I, I, I think it's a really important initiative. I think uh, it's a real great opportunity for ordinary folk just to play quite an important role in monitoring what's happening with our rivers and our streams. So often we just think, well, I'm really worried about how our environment is, how, how mucky our rivers are, but I, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, actually you can do quite a lot about it. By getting trained up as a citizen scientist, I'm really hoping that I can uh, contribute towards improving the health of our rivers so that they're in a good state that we pass on to the next generation. I surf, I swim, so yeah, pollution is something that I'm very aware of and yeah, I think being in nature and being outside is so important for not just for our physical health, for our mental health, for our emotional well-being and it's really important to work towards getting this data so that we can spend that time in those spaces more safely. Yeah, exactly, and as you're saying, it's yeah. with that connection then it kind of fuels us even more to want to do something about yeah. it. It's, it's, it's stewardship, it's about community and it's about stewardship and it's about linking people with where they live, with the land, with the waters that sustain us. What would you say to encourage people to get involved and how can they sign up? I think just looking at rivers and being out in nature is enough that hopefully drives people to want to protect them and we've made it as easy as possible for people to sign up so they can either go to our website so um, www.wrt.org.uk or email me and the team on csi at wrt.org.uk and one of us will get back to you. Well I really do feel inspired to jump in and get involved because 
it makes so much sense to just secure healthy water for us and the biodiversity in and around our river environments because these environments really are a life force overall so they need our protection.